Alrighty, just a quickie up here for just got through watching uh, Discovery uh, episode of Project Daedalus, and it started going along the way. Of, yeah, of course, Michael Spock is the Mikey Spock is the is the, is the red angel. Yeah, I love Spock. It fits right with their personality. Of course, it's her. Yeah. Yeah. Just that could take on a suit and try and save the universe. But a nice little twist at the end that I don't think anybody saw coming. So. Yeah, I'll give him credit for that. And I, I'm going to assume that Michelle Paradise is, is now is showrunner now. And then I'll wait till next season. That she's taken the reins already. And they, they now have an idea what they're doing. What they're doing might be stupid, but at least they have a plan. You know, it's kind of like an apocalypse now. That one scene with a helicopter attack on the beach, and they're taking the beach because it's good for surfing. Charlie, don't surf. It's a stupid plan. It doesn't serve the war effort, anything, whatsoever. But it's a plan. And people got behind that scene because in all this chaos of nobody knowing what the hell we're doing in the first place, look there. We got a mission here. We're taking that beach. <laughs> so this is the case of here. It's, 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 we got a plan here. We're figuring out the right... You got the, you know, MacGuffin to figure out. And you know, I'll get more detail when I get, you know, get the thing downloaded and examine in more detail, but uh, at first glance, it's another one It's like, well, okay, it did not right suck. It still has some weird things in it. And it's a little too much of everything revolving around Michael, because, you know, of course her parents were for Section 31. Of course they were, but come on. Of course the whole thing about, you know, why didn't they, they didn't tell me anything? Because you were nine. Okay, come on. Someone's supposed to be the best, the smartest, most intelligent ever, ever should realize that no one's going to tell a nine-year-old about a highly classified project. Okay, come on, get a clue. Now, and the rest of it, I mean, I'm, I'm still not reading, you know, Ethan Peck as Spock, really, but again, he's doing a good snarky Vulcan. So. But he also did a good point, yeah, if you go in and rescue her, you're dealing with a time traveler. She already knows what you're going to do, and what you, because of her, it's already happened. So if you go charging in to uh, the rescue, of course she didn't, because you, know, you knew you, that's what you were going to do. You have to make it sure. No, we're not coming to the rescue. She is going to die if you don't get in there. So, yeah. So it's a case of, yeah, Spock was doing exactly what needed to be done. They had to make sure that, you know, if they really don't make, make sure, then there'll be nobody standing by at all. They're strapped in the chair and beam back up. <laughs> but hey, we got to have people nearby. we got to have you know, a little Mexican standoff there. So. And of course, someone's got to throw on the tractor beam the whole thing. Place. But th this now looks going to be a little interesting. It still doesn't redeem the show in any way, shape, or form. It's still a lost cause. It's still an alternate timeline. It's a, forget it. But at least it's, you know, again, we it's, it's still a disaster, but now it's a disaster with snacks. So so we will get back with it later. PayPal, Patreon, gotta feed the kitty. Come on, you know, so. Uh, gotta feed ourselves, gotta feed the kitty, and uh, we're still... Hope I'm, there is actually a place back in Denver. I'm gonna get some information on it. <laughs> It'd be a minor miracle to get this thing in the price of revenue. I know, and you know, Steph doesn't want to go back there, but you know there are many practical reasons for going back to Denver. You know, not just because all our stuff is there, also because I got a very good, at least you know, outside possibility of a radio job because of the newfound decent you know relationship with the program director at the Mountain. <laughs> so she wants to, she wants to have a face to face with Raymond Town. Well, I want to be in town to have face to face. So I, you know, so I need to get that and also. And in the meantime, I maybe get the gig back at the, you know, the KGNU and so use get the get the resume current. And other things, okay? You know, it, it, it all builds back. It works. It, it's better. You know, and we get we know we're we're just not going anywhere. We can still make occasional road trips. Okay? I know I you prefer Kings of Young Kings. Anyway, we're starting to ramble a bit, you know. And yeah, you know, and a little thing about well, it's also 
they'll, they'll think about going in the future. Uh, now that Disney has taken full control of Fox, they're starting to act like Viacom did when they took over Paramount. So tread carefully with the Orwell reviews. I know I will. Because they slapped down JP over at Eco Next to Fun Time, and it's like, yeah, what? He's saying nice things about you, Disney. Do not screw this up so soon, please. Get a clue. Yeah, don't attack your fans. Anyway, PayPal, Patreon, other stuff down below. We'll talk at you later.